Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time we are getting it all in Vasilis. A peculiar yet enjoyable adventure game developed by Marginal Act, published by Sometimes You and is available for a mere £4.19 or $4.99 US Styly Bob. I say peculiar with interest as this hand-drawn looking game centres around Basilis, a lady who has seen her country get burnt down to the ground as inspired by actual Ukrainian political events in 2014. So we go on a mission to try and stop the riots and end the misery. But as for the achievements and trophies in the game, most are extremely easy. Story related ones of course, but we have to speak to a few people to unlock some. And also make sure whenever you see people huddled over on the floor looking like they're crying, just go up to them and talk to them. We need to talk to seven overall for the achievement. There's also two more miscellaneous ones at the very end, but again, all extremely easy. Now this should take you maybe around one to two hours to complete. But to be honest, the game is rather slow, as in the character movements, etc. They're all quite slow, so it's very easy to just keep up and follow what I am doing. I'll also be doing commentary because you love my voice. And don't try to deny it. <laughs> anyway, with all that being said then, let us begin. And what you will notice immediately as well, that the game is very quiet. There's no background. Uh, we unlock our first achievement straight away. But there's no background music or anything like that. It's just background noise. There's no character um, speaking or anything. So this sort of little tutorial will tell you what to do. So to interact with any items, you just press the A button, as you've just seen. And to open up the inventory, you just press the X button and then move it left or right. Uh, with the d-pad and then use a button to interact with whatever you want in your inventory So as you can see then yes uh, Vasilis She is quite a frail old dear You can kind of see her hand draw boobies looking a bit low, so they must be slowing her down as well I I've got you know Pretty bad hand-drawn boobies too. They, they, they hang quite low, so that's why I go quite slow so this is the first bit then, you'll have to use your key to get in, so X button and then A button to use the key. There's only five chapters in the game and like I said it'll take you around an hour or so to complete. So you don't have to use anything, uh, you just walk in, press again, it's just pressing the A button mainly to just get in and out of places, getting in and out of everywhere. So we're going to head right first and we're going to see some sad news. And it's actually sad, because, you know, it sucks. But actually, when we're through the door, grab this item, this sort of jug-looking thing first. And then you can have a look with the Y button and the right bumper, sort of uh, what we got to do and everything. But we don't need to, because there's really no need. So out we go. The load times can be, you know, quite a little bit long, but we'll just keep on heading to the right. We are looking for PTL, our husband. Um, but uh, 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 he got hand drawn bulleted in a butthole, which I assume hurts whether it's been hand drawn or not. But he did talk to this chubby fat guy with tits on the bench after picking up the item on the chair right next to him. We're gonna call him old tit guy because they're bigger than Vasilis's, but you get an achievement anyway. Just don't mention his boobies, he's very subtle about that. Is uh <laughs> it's adult Eric Cartman. So now we're into the sort of main area. We're just going to go to the right hand side and down first of all And obviously with it being a sort of adventure and sort of a point-and-click game as well We'll obviously be going here there and everywhere So we'll be going to the left first uh, Here are the first of the people that sort of huddled over looking upset. They'll always say something like growing and you know something like that, but anyway all timestamps will be uh, below also just another point uh, Here's another two actually huddle over Talking crying guys so pick up the item next to the sort of window there and then make sure to talk to the two Huddled over guys talking about growing or whatever But yes, it's definitely easier to be using the d-pad to move Vasilis than it is with the uh, left directional stick for some reason She goes on a bloody jollies So <laughs> with the directional stick she's it's like she's absolutely steaming which I would have been if uh, this was happening, mind. So there is another huddled over person. So that is already four out of the seven that we need. 
Um, they do uh, start to dry up a little bit. And then just go through the door and then head up to where the nurse is taking a little smoky smoke smoke. We'll have a little uh, conversation with her. And then what we'll need to do is give her the second item, which gives us a bottle. And then that is that. So now we can just leave. Next, we're heading into the club. This, um, mapping, mipping. Sorry, I don't speak Ukrainian. I'm not very good. I'm barely any good at English, so Ukrainian's a no-go. Uh, speak to this guy on the floor right here. We need to give him the third bottle, and he will give us what well, kind of looks like toilet roll or something. But anyway, we've got the item. If he was unconscious on the floor, I don't know why we couldn't, couldn't have just robbed him anyway. If there's <laughs> if there's riots and looting and stuff happening, we could have just pinched the bloody toilet roll out of his ass pocket. There we go, though. We're nice like that, aren't we? My little dear frail old lady. Head to the left, and we are going back up to the sort of left-hand side. Uh, sort of bridge there. I'll just, I'll just call it a bridge for easiness sakes. And this time, we are just going to be heading straight right for the mow. And then just go ahead and enter this door right here. You can't go any further than that, so it's pretty obvious. And what we need to do then is just go all the way to the right. There's the mayor of the city. He's looking a bit... <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, there's a bank robbery happening. And this potentially does seem a little bit pointless. But everything I do in this game all leads up to a point And all leads us with progression and achievement hunting. Because as we see, the other security guard who was just cowering has now gone. So that works well in our favour. So let's head back to the left and we're just going to go into the door which is just beyond this tr uh, truck right here. Sort of the next door we can go in, the next blurry. Th that image right there reminds you of pins and needles, doesn't it? Ah, you got pins and needles in your leg. That That's what that reminds me of. Go to the left a bit and you see this sort of jug item right here next to the guy sort of... Oof. Hmm, well, that's a nasty way to go, being spiked up to death and back. Who poses like that? That's not a pose, Maya. Oh, very natural. Get me from my best side, please. By the way, that was a shoddy attempt at a Ukrainian accent. Apologies. And I didn't mean to cause offence. So we're going straight down then from where we came, down to the bridge, down to the morgue. Talk to this nice young smoky bokey here. And that unlocks us the Aurorary achievement. Auror. Auroi. Auroror. Anyway, just head right. <laughs> just head right. <laughs> So we're going to ignore the bar for now and go into the place right next to it, which is the, kind of looks like a uh, woman's shut eyebrow or, I don't know, a caterpillar with back arch, I don't bloody know. But anyway, just head uh, basically up to the left and then back down. We're going home. Now, we need a nap after all that, I don't know, picking up items and picking up random stuff. What's going on there, titties? How you doing? You're smiling very... Like you've just committed a weird murder crime. That's that's a very creepy old smile. With your big nips hanging out. Go to the left. I mean, it's really... I tell you what, for, for a, you know, a hand-drawn game, it's, it's it looks fantastic. But there's so much peculiarly peculiarly weird stuff going on. We're going to enter the first door we come across there, which is our bedroom. So get your ass into bed um, by using the toilet roll looking thing. <laughs> I know why she's using toilet roll. She needs a little touchy-touchy after a hard day. 
Old people touching themselves. I hope I've just grossed you out. Ah! But anyway, let's just move to the right and then head on out. When we get to Party Island, there's nobody here. They're all, um, I don't know where they are, but we're heading straight up anyway. Maybe they're all on LSD and they're all messed up. Because look at these guys' heads now. They're all sort of messed up. Look at it. Did you just see it? Doing all that kind of stuff. Anyway. So where we're going now is just to the left. Uh, watch out for, well, you don't need to watch out for tall, lanky dudes. They don't do anything to you. And we're going down here then, Main Avenue. And again then, for now, we are obviously heading left. That's the only place we can go. And, uh, you know, as decent as the... You know, I mean, the, the game is very decent. But like you say, it is very... It is pretty slow-paced, so you sort of... We just want to absolutely crack on with it, but just go um, up here and then to the left into the sort of hospital wing. And you know, you're kind of interested, but you just want to keep it going. But we are trapped now, so grab the axe, what looks like a picture, but we can actually grab it. And then open up your inventory, use the axe, and get on out of there. No good staying in a burning building. This guy looks like, I don't know if that's supposed to be a robber, or an alien, or something. But, I tell, tell you what, I'm pretty good at hand drawing stuff. I could have easily done all these squiggly lines. Hmm. Maybe we're onto something, meow. Then again, maybe not because I suck. So we're heading immediately straight down then. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the best. I, I am actually disgustingly bad at drawing. And then heading to the left again. Now we're going to talk to this other unibrowed looking legend. And I know all Ukrainians don't look like that, so I don't know why they've done it. And then just head back down. And then next up, all we need to do is just head all the way to the right until we get to the next screen. And I think, you know, once the whole excitement of, you know, starting a new game and everything sort of dies down, you're kind of like, eh, come on. I mean, it's easy enough to follow, obviously, but, you know, the least they could have done was just, like, drawn some faster legs onto her. And then problem would have been solved, but that's okay, that's okay. So we're all good. Head to the right once more, past um, Lanky Larry right here. And then we're just heading down, which is to sleep. Go to sleep, little angel pie. Um, we are going to now talk to this guy, the one with the hat, and then talk, and then just go straight back up. Next, we're going to head to the left. Make sure, remember, to, there's a guy coming up who is crouching and upset and some things are growing. It's obviously not his a wiener because everyone's proud of that one. Um, so we can hear it growing. Like I said, not his wiener, so we don't know what it is. But make sure to talk to him <laughs> right before we head into this building here. And then just go past <coughs> what apparently is meant to be Big Baby from Toy Story 3. Or something, I don't know. But that is a hell of a security looking guard. Jeemus. Head into the right. And we're going to pick up another item right here. Which doesn't look like an item, but it is an item. And then we're just heading all the way back down. Nipping past Big Baby again. What a weirdo. Yay, in that mind, I don't think I'd want to mess with him because he'd probably eat my ass for breakfast. 
No, wait, no, no, that sounds wrong. Just ignore that. Nobody's eating ass. Nobody. Because that's where people poop from. Disgust me. Anyway, head back down to sleep now. We, we're back to the guy with his head moving like a... Like a goddamn maniac. And then give him the item. He gives you some... Uh, Ukrainian dollary dues. Um, I should really know what they're called. Ukrainian money. We're just going to call it money. Because that's easy. So just give him that first item then. And he'll get some more money. And then head to the guy on to the left right here. And then now you can give him some money. And he will give us something in return. A key. Which I was going to say we could have just beaten him up for it. But... I mean, Vasilis looks like she got them swinging old lady titties. She could easily knock them out. And there's plenty of videos to prove that that is a deadly weapon. Anyway, we're just <laughs> heading to the left and then heading down to the next sort of bridge. <clears throat> and then guess where we're going? Yes, we're heading left. Wow, that's uh, that's exciting. Although there is, uh, it's it's going to start getting, it will start getting more exciting, I promise. But we're heading down to the next bridge, down to the morgue, and you know I'm trying not to sound like a bit of a douche when I say that, but I think just because the game is, it, it is definitely a slow burner. But talk to this Ukrainian eyebrow legend, give him the key, and now we can go into the newly opened door. This will begin quite the rather long cutscene. So just head to the right and it is going to begin a rather long cutscene and really now this is where the game starts to pick up and does get a little bit more exciting and like I said I don't want to sound like a bit of a douche for saying it but definitely the first sort of 15 minutes here were a bit of a slow burner. Ah, look at this guy with the tits in front of us. <laughs> Sorry we just missed that. But yeah, nothing you can do for the moment, nothing you can press, all we're doing is just waiting for the uh, cutscene to end. It does take a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. So just sit back, relax, take a nap. So then, let's head to the right now. Mr. Eyebrows will tell us to go to the right, and there's going to be a bunch of guys pointing to the right, so that's where we're going to head. It's also going to get us another achievement. But I really feel like at this point, City starts burning. They could have put a decent song on this, couldn't they? Like, uh... London Bridge is falling down. No, wait, no, that's the wrong one. Ukrainian town is burning down. Hmm... Uh. No, no. I'm, all I can think of is nursery rhymes now. Having a one-year-old daughter is not good for your mental brain capacity because all I can think of is bloody 
nursery rhymes and stuff. But that's fine. Like I said, we're just heading right. We're going we're gonna to just ignore that. But like I said, the game's going to start getting a lot more interesting. Now head to the right a little bit until the achievement unlocks. North East Tower. And there's going to be four towers that we're going to visit for four separate achievements. So happy days for the achievement hunting beautinesses. That is all of us. So once we're out of the other side, head into the building first before we go in uh, left any further. Uh, head left just a little bit and we're going to be picking up a boxed item. Oh, come on, honey. That hip works a lot better than you're showing it. Come on. So here's the item then just at the end of these beds here. And then head back out. Slowly. So when we are outside then, don't be fooled, that uh, looks like money there, but it's actually not uh, an Albanian dollar. And I call it an Albanian dollar because it looks like the bird that is on the Albanian flag, doesn't it? But it's not, so we can just head on and we're going to go down to the third sort of bridge now. So you'll see the first two coming up, so we're not going down any of these, it'll be the third one we entry. There is another bridge coming up that we're going to head down. And we're going to see it right meow. Right meow in front of the awesomely looking building. It's the morgue that we're heading down. And then we're going to speak to a couple of people. Basically, our job now. So, so to get people on our side, we basically need to do a whole bunch of things for them. And grab a whole bunch of items for them. You know, it's not like... You know, for political freedom or anything, they're just like, look, get me a beer, get me a, get me a carton of milk or something, and I'm all yours. I suppose it's easy, <laughs> instead of trying to convince them and talk, talk our way into it. So you can't beat it, really. Have a beer, join the political <laughs> party. Happy days. So now we are going into the club, which where we first went into very early on in the game, and head up to the bar straight up, and we are going to give this guy. Uh, some mono, some money that will give us a beer or some vodka. And I think Ukrainians prefer the uh, stronger stuff, I reckon. But day three is almost done and upon us. So now we're going into the third building. Not the eyebrow looking one here, but it's the one with the sort of gear cog right there. So we'll head into there and all we're grabbing is a lab coat from here. Very conveniently placed things again for us, isn't it? Uh, and, and big old Vasilis, she knows her way around. I suppose she does. She seems like one of those wisdomous women that have lived here for 105 years, but still looks about 50. Still look, still looks good enough to, you know, sleep with after a few vodkas. <laughs> Did I just say that? No, I'm sorry. Uh, heading to the second building. I'm not like that, I swear. I'm a good boy. And then where we're doing then is heading back home. So back down right here. And we're going to be heading back into the house and trousen. Now you didn't actually have to speak with tits right there. But um, again, just very interesting with... Especially if you're sort of into this sort of stuff. Like for me, anything like this generally does fascinate me. It genuinely interests me. So yeah, very interesting to see what sort of dialogue and things come up. But again, that's up to you. Didn't have to do that, but I did anyway. So keep on heading to the left, and we're going to see a massive, massive piggy bank. I and mean, look at that. That is, that looks creepy almost. So use the axe on it, because you ain't, <laughs> you ain't just um. Tipping that upside down and sticking your hand in. You're going to have to axe that one out. Uh, so we can get a lot more money. Now we're basically going to head out. Basically what we've just done is we're on holiday in Greece. 
and we've gone, oh crap, I've got no money left for vodka, we need to go back to the room for a second, smash out the big piggy bank, and get another 300 euros for the night, and get fudged up, son. That is basically what happened, but we're not, obviously Vasilis is uh, not getting so fudged up, not yet anyway, not until this is over, and then just go back down the same way that we came, so it's to the right and then down again. And then just head up the bridge, right next to the bar right there, the Mappen. Or Mappen. I apologies for buttering that. I obviously do not speak Ukrainian in the slightest, so hopefully somebody in Ukrainian land will tell me how to actually pronounce that. Uh, so now all we're doing then is just giving all the items to all the guys right here for now, uh, to get them on our side. Job the good and bibbit. Man, that, that, that guy with the skinny legs looks like he's about to break and fall at any minute. Uh, but head down to where the nurse is, and then all we're doing once again is running, sprinting, slash extremely slow walking to all the way to the right. So, you know, you got time to look on your phone and check out some of that ultra HD 4K porn. I, I mean, just just chill, just chill. Just head all the way to the right then, and that will end this day and begin a new one. Of course, this will unlock us another achievement as well. This is just, again, for starting the fourth day. So, talk to this lady here. And then what we're going to do is head to the left. Now, there is a very... This next uh, crouching guy, the grower-shower guy, very easy to miss. So, head down right now, over this little bridge... And it's just this tiny little bit, which, again, once we talk to him, that's fine. There's literally nothing else to do here. But that can be very easily missable if you're just sort of wanting to get to the main objective. So make sure to head down the bridge and speak to that guy first before we move on by moving to the left and then going up to Southeast Avenue. Watch out for the guys. Watch out because, look. Whoa! What the hell are they doing? Uh, we, we're gonna head into the only open door right here, but why Why is that a thing? Oh my god, riots, let's bend our neck backwards. <laughs> right, okay. Hmm, intradasting, very intradasting. So click the third sort of wheel right there, and then go ahead and click the first one, the very right-hand side and the very left-hand side, and then what that will do is get this boxed item for us. It's a hand. And you're thinking that might, might be a mannequin hand? No, 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 no. That is a real hand that somebody or something has placed up there in a clear box. Delicious. Hmm. Yes. So head to the right, past the blech, weird neck bending, guys. And we're just going to head uh, back up. Hmm. Very interesting. Again, then, these Ukrainian unibrow legends are going to tell us where to go. So, there's a bridge that is coming up, and we need to go up it. Not down it, go past the, um, is that a fox factory or a mouse factory or something? Either way, I'm sure it's not that good, especially if you're an animalistic animal lover. Um, hmm, oh boy. 
And then all we're going to do then is just head into the building straight away right here with the Albanian dollar outside it. Head all the way to the left. All we're doing here is just talking to some guy. If this is based on 2014, you, you would have think, you know, Vasilis would have just uh, nipped out a little mobile phone, cheeky text, didn't it? What have I got to do next? But And for some reason, this guy's just standing around really uh, menacingly, which apparently the other soldiers don't care about. So that's always good as well. <laughs> I don't know. But these guys kind of look like they're masturbating for some reason. Why are they jerking off like that? Why have they got their hands... Or maybe they're just hungry. I don't know. I do, but I don't know why they're shaking. They're obviously Parkinson'd up or something, aren't they? That's, uh, ugh. Anyway. We're moving on. I'm going to shut my goddamn mouth. <laughs> because we're moving on. We're heading to the left. <laughs> Once we are outside the building. And see that one brick on the wall there that says 111? We actually need to just uh, get out of there. We need to go down the uh, next bridge. And then come back to that in just a little while because there's an item that we need behind it. So go down to sleep first. And then once here, then get your money out for this uh, guy with no face. He gives us the key card, and what genuinely looks like a blank piece of paper. Don't forget the more money, which is just on the left-hand side there. So don't forget to pick that up. Uh, it might not come in handy, but it's always good to have extra money, isn't it? Since none of us have extra money these days. Um, <laughs> and then we're just going to head to the right. And once again, like I said, we're going to the brick, which has the numbers 111 on it. Whoa, what the hell is your head doing? And then just use the key card then on 111. And, oh, look at that. It's a nice eyeball. Delicious. Mm. Somebody hid an eyeball in the wall for us to get. So that's... Nice. I don't know if you've noticed by now, but we're actually assembling body parts for our... Uh, uh, well, I won't spoil it, but we are assembling dead body parts. That's not a spoiler, because we've got two hands and an eyeball. Nice. So heading all the way left so far, and here we go then. Don't forget to pick up the money next to these drawings of eyeballs on a car, and then just head into this building right here. Once again then, just head to the elevator. Don't know where Big Baby from Toy Story 3 has gone though. He's uh, obviously had enough. Oh, look at that, there's another eyeball. Uh, to your right as soon as you get off the elevator. That's nice. Who keeps putting these disfigured limbs around the place? Anyway, let's exit the building now. And from here, we'll be taking the next bridge down. And we're going to be getting a missable achievement right here. So go to the left a little bit, head up, and the first sign that we see, right in front of us, head up. And then go and talk to the last crying, weenus, showing, growing man. That's the last one we need throughout the game. So hopefully you would have got that achievement. I'd have put timestamps in the comment section below anyway for uh, every single one. Just in case you do end up missing one. Um, so yeah, timestamps will be available for you. So now we're going to head down to the morgue. Which is the next bridge from where we just were. And go directly straight up in front of us into the building. Basically, we are going to be seeing who... We're going to be seeing Peter. And look at this guy. He just swallowed his whole friggin' head. What the hell is that? Anyway, give this guy some money. He gives us another limb. Uh, thank you for that, you greedy shit head. And, oh, So we'll say, oh, hey, Peter. So all we got to do now is... um. Uh, well, give him his body parts back, I suppose. Honestly, I have no idea what's going on. We're just helping, we're just destroying nature, quite frankly. And we're messing around with nature, and that ain't a good thing.
So we get two achievements as we begin the next day here, chapter uh, day five. Make sure to grab the bottle directly off the bar as well. That is another important one that we need before we leave. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, we've got, I, I <laughs> genuinely don't know what just happened there. So we've ended up in the mouse bar with the mice blinking in the background as well. It's, it's very bizarrely, strangely, kind of beautiful in a way as well. But that's what the, the inside of the mouse fox weird bar looks like. So, out of there, heading to the left, and we'll be going up where the next sign is, just around here. Then, of course, we are heading to the left as we speak, and then we're going through the next open door, which is right there. The big building with a whole load of filing cabinets or something around and all we need to do then go and talk to the guy in the middle and then give him uh, one of the bottles and he's going to give us a key which I tell you what is lucky that Vasilis really knows what to do and where to find these different things to give to different people otherwise we'd all be a little bit screwed so we are starting to get into sort of even weirder territory in this game now so Again, from the building, head to the left, see where this blacked out door is. This is where we're going to actually be using the key that the guy just gave us. So, head on inside and then go up to the next open door, which as you can see is just directly at the top. And then head to the left. We're going to be just heading through new doors until we get another achievement. So, to the left, again, up through the door. A whole bunch of unibrow, one eye browed legends are going to be appearing soon. Now this bit, if anybody can walk straight up at this bit, I'll, I'll give them a thousand pounds. Actually, I won't because I don't have a thousand pounds, but uh, thanks for playing anyway. Uh, yeah, so walk through all the... Uh, I mean, they're just basically mannequins, isn't they? Freaky ass unibrow mannequins. And then just go ahead, talk to this guy on the right, and we will get the achievement uh, cult. And that is just for speaking to a cult member or facing a cult. So we'll head directly down. And then what we'll do is just head down a little bit further. Once again from here, just head directly down over the next bridge and we'll be getting another achievement for finding another one of the towers. And this bit's getting even bloody freakier. So this one is South Avenue, so just walk to the right a little bit until the achievement unlocks. The Southeast Tower achievement, uh, Chaos Tower, and then we will just be able to head back up. So, yeah, sort of starting to get into um, LSD slash acid territory, aren't we? Really, my dear? So, obviously, make sure that you also just spoke to the guy. Uh, by the southeast tower before you came up, sorry, forgot to say, but then when you do, come back up to the main street and go into the first bar, the Mappin bar, the Mappin, Mappin, talk to this guy standing alone, loser, actually I've done that many a time, when all my friends have disappeared, but I usually look about the same actually on a night out, I look exactly the same as that guy there, although that is pretty creepy, you know what, forget I said anything, Anyway, now what we're going to do is just head all the way to the left until we find a truck and then we will be using a key on that truck and then a cutscene will begin. Let's go, Basilis, yeah, bitch, oh yeah. So welcome to day six then, where the riots are really taking the toll, everyone's having a really good time apart from being mugged, beaten up, shot at and burned and everything. 
probably don't have a good time with that. So we're just going to head out of this building <laughs> right here. I haven't really been shot at or burnt, but I assume it's not the best of feelings. <sighs> I don't know. If you're American, you've probably been shot at, so you'll have to let me know on that one. I'm just kidding, I'm just joking. But go to the crack in this wall between the uh, two sort of buildings right there. And you'll come to this alleyway. And then what we're going to actually do this time is head to the left to another place where we haven't been before. And then just head all the way up. And basically what we're needing then is the final sort of limb, the final body piece that we need, which is being for some reason held hostage. I'm not sure why. Uh, but this guy wants some milk. Uh, so we have to actually talk to this guy. Basically get the quest to start up. Um, I don't know why. I don't, really don't There's got to be a shop around somewhere, haven't it? Lazy douche ass. Uh, head up to where the cult members were then. And actually we come straight to this guy this time. So this is actually where um, our last body part limb whatever the hell we need is being uh captive and for some reason held hostage again really not sure what why that's happening or what's going on but head back to the left and then straight up past this guard doing nothing lazy air tool. next we're going to be heading all the way to the left and Basically, we're going to know where to go because you're going to see these big pulses like we like we were when we seen uh, Peter or Philip. These big magnetic pulses. Um, it's actually coming from those crosses right there. So go in the building next to the pulsating cross. And what we're going to do is <laughs> find another random leg just happily left there for us. Happy days. This is not weird at all. Is this, is this what really happened? Does, does this really happen in riots? With the old, yeah, let's just mug and loot everyone. And let's leave some guy's body parts hanging around so some old lady can collect them and try and put them back on a dead husband. <laughs> I really don't know if that's a thing, but uh, hmm, I assume so. Enough bloody riots going on in the world, so it wouldn't surprise me. But we're heading down to the right of the bridge. And next, as you can already see... The uh, pulsating begins again. So there's that one. So actually what we have to do is get all of the body parts back together to be able to get the pulsating to stop. And then we'll be able to pick up these few crosses a little bit later on. So we're heading down to the morgue and then straight up to the building next to the other pulsating cross right there. And then if we just head to the right, now we are back in the place where Peter... Oh, is it Peter or Philip? Maybe it's Fita or Philip. Anyway, grab the bag of meat or whatever the hell we just grabbed from inside there and then get your ass out of there again. So head back to the right. We're going back over the bridge. We are going to be getting another missable achievement right here, but we are going to be heading home, which is always nice. Uh, so, go to the right and then go to the building with the eyebrow above it, or the closed eye. I know it's not a closed eye, but that's what it looks like to me, so I'm sticking with it. Um, but, uh, yeah, so head, obviously, up to the left and then down past the freaky guy with his big white mouth eating his own head. <laughs> I don't know why that's a thing, but that is awesome. Uh, tits has gone somewhere. He's probably going to get his uh, tit reduction surgery, I expect, haven't he? Uh, so go, obviously, up to the door. <laughs> tit reduction surgery. Go to the left and into this little gap here immediately to your left. And then go to the right. And we are getting the achievement for meeting our neighbour. He's got a wooden leg and a pair of scissors in his hand. I think he's been... I think he just stabbed himself in the neck. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for that, pal. Oh, but he's fine, apparently. I, I don't know what the hell happened. But there's a crow there, so he must be committing suicide a lot. Or something. I don't know. I, I just don't know. Anyway, now we can head back out. <laughs> but I do apologise. The one thing I was meant to say then was obviously make sure to give him the leg so that he can give you the skull key. 
obviously just <laughs> make sure to grab that before you go on. Apologies for talking a whole another whole lot of shit over something important there. Anyway, now we're going to be talking to these weirdos. Uh, just um, keep on chatting to everyone until they all sort of disappear. Only these guys at the top. Don't worry about the guy at the bottom meeting his own face. Uh, and just get, again, you know, give people whatever they want. So just keep following the video. Okay then, so we are good for now. Now we're going to head back down. Uh, we are again, once again, coming up to another achievement. This is for looking at one of the Chaos Towers again. So head to the left and where we'll be going is basically uh, down on a bridge now. So past this first one, past this second one and go down. You can see there uh, the sort of third bridge. And then all we'll be doing is just heading all the way to the left. There is an item that we will need to be picking up. As well as getting the Chaos Tower achievement for the north... Northeast. Southwest. Okay, close enough. Um, <laughs> northeast, southwest. Okay, so I was really wrong. But we get in the southwest achievement anyway. So keep going until we grab the item and then we can head all the way back. So, I mean, with the item, we've actually got to use the uh, skull key first. Again, apologies, it's late now, so my mind's wandering, which is not good. Uh, so, use the skull key, go inside. We are actually picking up an item. It's these three crosses right here, which we need to uh, use to place on the pulsating crosses that are next to random buildings. But now we can head out and go all the way back. So continue going right. Obviously our job now is to just place the three crosses, which is going to help us big time. And then where we'll be going next is to the bridge, which is right next to the mappen bar. Mappen. Mappen? Mappen. Gotta stop. I'm going to have to stop that. I, I keep saying the same thing every time. So there we go then, this is where the first pulsating cross is, so whap your inventories out, and then uh, whap your big boy, white boy, big boy, cross boy there. So this is, we're just helping people now, just helping people find peace, find nice restables. So head down the bridge from where the building was, and we have our second cross right here, so whip out your inventory and whip out the big boy. And now we're just heading all the way to the right until we cross the bridge. It's actually um, rather beautiful, this bit. Helping people, helping the uh, dead find peace in the riots. Very pretty. Very sad. But, life goes on. Oh, yeah. Right, I'm not going to start singing. I'm not going to make you cry. And as we see then, on the left is the third and final cross. So again, whip it out and stick it in. So we're coming up to the fourth and final Chaos Tower. Now this is easily missable, but just head all the way again until you get to the left hand side and until the achievement unlocks. Like I said, this one is definitely easily more missable because it's not as obvious as the first three. Or the first two at least. I mean, I suppose they're all easily missable, but this one was the most easiest missable list. So anyway, heading back all the way now to the right. Uh, 
until we get to the bridge, which is directly in front of this building, sort of down below us. We go into the wasteland. So head down here next to the hanging guy in a tree. That's so nice, isn't it? Such a pretty location. Obviously head down, because that's the only place we can go. And then head up. Now we'll be talking to the leader guy to get our present. Whoa, what's going on right now? So then, with this guy, I uh, really, I know he wanted a bottle. But I'm not actually sure. I don't know if he wants one or if he doesn't need one. I really do forget. But try and give him a bottle of milk or whatever anyway. And then, of course, if he doesn't take it, then he doesn't take it. But there was one playthrough he did, and then this playthrough he didn't. So... You know, just try and give it to him, and if he doesn't like it, then screw him. Give this mannequin box the uh, last item on your list, the plastic box. And then, obviously, head through the door. And now, we will just head to the right, getting bigger as we go. Mecha Vasilis. Mecha Vasilis. They said we're not getting that bigger, so you're not really mecha. Heading through the door, though, is what we are doing. And congratulations! You have completed the game. So, uh, she's all now got this massive power to just end the riot. Vasilis the Queen. The legend. She just now has this power. Destroys everything. Ukraine's back. Ukraine's happy. Fuck yeah! But it's not totally the end of the game, actually. We've still got a couple of achievements left to get, so... Uh, continue first, and then what we'll be doing is heading to the right. We need to get an achievement for getting to a secret location and for going back to day one. Uh, but it's not as easy as that. So, again, just head to the right to begin with. Then we're not doing much else apart from going all the way to the right of the bridge. All the way to the right again. From here, go to the left and then go down on the next bridge that we see, which is just next to this mice bar right here. A little bit further over, but there we go. So all we're doing really is just following the pulses again. Um, but can be a bit disorientating if you're not really paying attention. So just go ahead, straight up, and this is where we do it. This is the secret location. Um, aptly named Secret. Happy days. Uh, so we've only got one more achievement. Now, for some reason, we've got the ability to... Uh, well, we haven't got the ability, but if you leave it, you're going to have to leave it, I'd say, about three, four, five minutes, maybe even a bit longer, but it's basically going to go from day to day, and eventually it's going to skip down far enough to get to day one, and that is where the last achievement is, and that is where the game will end. So it's literally just a case, you can walk around and everything, um, but just keep waiting, and eventually it'll sort of go to day two and day three, and then eventually it will get to day one and then day two. So it will happen eventually, even if it might take around 10 minutes or so. So there we go then, guys and gals. That is it. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game. And I hope you enjoyed the guide as well. And we had some good laughs along the way, as we always do. Don't forget, of course, to like, comment, and subscribe. 
Uh, check me out on all my socials, of course. I'm on you know Twitter, Instagram, also on Patreon. All the links are provided in the description below. But again, thanks so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Big shout out to TimG84 for continuing to support the show on Patreon. Thank you so much for that. See you in the next one, guys. Big love.